How many times have you found yourself staring at your game library, unable to decide what to play? You got dozens, maybe hundreds of titles waiting, yet none of them seem to call out to you. You're not alone. This is the burden of the gaming backlog, an ever-growing list of games that instead of bringing you joy, brings only stress and indecision. Do you remember when gaming was simple? When we were kids, a single game could keep us entertained for months. Now, with countless games at our fingertips, why is it so hard to just pick one out and play? Today, we're diving into a topic that hits close to home for many of us. The dreaded gaming backlog. We'll explore how having too many choices can lead to choice paralysis, draining the fun out of gaming and making it feel like a chore. But that's not all. We'll also discuss how this gaming dilemma mirrors the struggles we face in real life. Whether it's choosing a career path, picking up a new hobby, or simply deciding how to spend our free time. Let's talk about choice paralysis. With so many games in our libraries, some we picked up during sales, others gifted, and many just sitting there waiting, we often find ourselves stuck. This isn't just a small inconvenience, it's a real challenge that affects how we enjoy gaming. I'm sure that we all know that the average gamer owns more games now than ever before. But as our libraries grow, so does the time we spend deciding what to play. And often, we end up playing nothing at all. Instead of being a source of excitement, our backlogs become a source of stress. This choice paralysis isn't just about having too many games, it's about the anxiety that comes with making the right choice, the fear of missing out on a better experience, and the guilt of not finishing games we've already started. It's a vicious cycle that can make gaming feel more like work than play. But why does this happen? Why do we as gamers accumulate more games than we can realistically play? And why does this lead to choice paralysis? One reason is the sheer availability of games today. With digital sales, subscription services, and constant new releases, we're bombarded with options. It's hard to resist a good deal or the hype of a new title, even when we haven't finished or even started half the games we already own. This leads to what psychologists call the paradox of choice. When we have too many options, it becomes harder to make a decision, and we often end up making no decision at all. In gaming, this translates to jumping between titles, never fully committing to one, and ultimately losing the sense of immersion and satisfaction that comes from getting lost in a single game. And this problem is not just in gaming. This choice paralysis is something many of us experience in our daily lives. Whether it's choosing a career path, deciding on a new hobby, or even figuring out what to do with our free time. Having too many options can be overwhelming. We end up feeling stuck, unsure of where to start, and worried about making the wrong choice. So, how do we break free from this paralysis? How do we reclaim the joy of gaming, and by extension, the joy of making decisions in our lives? One effective strategy is to limit your options. Instead of focusing on the entire backlog, pick just a few games that you're genuinely excited about and commit to playing them. Set small achievable goals like finishing one game before starting another. This not only helps reduce the feeling of being overwhelmed, but also brings back the sense of accomplishment that comes from completing something. Taking this strategy in your life can mean setting clear priorities and focusing on one decision at a time. Whether it's choosing a career path or starting a new hobby, breaking down your options and setting realistic goals can help you move forward without feeling paralyzed by the possibilities. Remember, it's not about finishing every game in your backlog or making the perfect choice every time. It's about enjoying the journey, both in gaming and in life. Our gaming backlogs don't have to be a source of stress. By changing how we approach them, we can rediscover the joy of gaming, just like we did when we were kids. 
and by applying these lessons in our real lives, we can overcome choice paralysis and start making decisions with confidence. So the next time you find yourself stuck, whether it's in front of your game library or in making a life decision, remember, it's okay to start small, focus on what excites you, and take things one step at a time.